Hey, peace world. Thanks for pressing play on another Pay Me No Mind sports and entertainment video. My name is Wood. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Also, do me a favor. Hit that like button if you like the way any information is being broken down, reviewed, analyzed, recapped, reacted to, so on and so forth, all of that. Look, I'm not going to hold you up, man. Um, I'm talking about this new single from rapper... Locksmith, The Black Holocaust. So I believe the video just dropped yesterday. It's The song is basically uh, built off of Jay-Z's Where I'm From. And it, the video features Locksmith walking down an alleyway, uh, basically just giving this verse. I believe the song only has one, uh, one verse. And... It's not so much that I uh, agree with everything that he says, per se. I don't necessarily disagree with everything that he says. What I'm excited about and why I'm talking about the song is because it at least gives you, at least it's a brother thinking and giving you some some things to think about. You can go read up on it and form your own opinion. Uh, but it's well written, well delivered. The beat, you know, the, obviously with it being from um, where I'm from, uh, it gets to the end of the song and they change it up a little bit, strip it down a little bit, and he says some other things. But tons of uh, tons of, 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 of very potent, poignant lyrics. Uh, he opens up. Okay, look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a symbol. It's another wealthy liberal throwing up a virtue signal. Another rich Republican funneling corporate dollars to muzzle black voices were struck, stuck with two choices. An open racist, Trump, or a closet bigot, Biden. Either way, we're only given a certain limit to pivot. So be mindful as you move in that space. Because some of our allies are just white anarchists in blackface. We just saw some, saw some of these reports from the uh, Justice for George Floyd protests and whatnot, uh, that in some of these crowds, it was like hire guns, you know, to go out and disrupt things and, you know, promote anarchy and whatnot. So he's, he's speaking on a lot of current events. He also says, uh, and that haze creates chaos, stern to mass doubters. Yes, black lives matter, but what happened to black power, black businesses? And, and then I, I like that he called, called this into question because right now for me with the, the brand Black Lives Matter, I'm, I'm really not with that. I haven't, I haven't really been with that. I never was. But when I, when I realized like that move to the forefront of this, uh, and I'm I'm discuss I'm not, I'm disappointed that this is on the NBA buses that I saw down in Orlando. Black Lives Matter, and that it it'll be probably echoed, if not on the court. Uh, is that going to be one of the messages on the courts when the NBA resumes? But I, I'm not I'm not feeling that. And he says, but what happened to Black Power? And I'm sure that's problematic to, you know, to uh, non-black people. But I am about black people being self-sufficient and, you know, being mindful of where your money is going. You know, we have the issue out there about how long a dollar stays in the black community. I think it's less than 10 minutes, less than less than five minutes, I think. These are things to be considerate. Or to, uh, to be mindful of and, and, and to make decisions with these things in mind. He goes on black businesses, black buildings, black community can buy that dollar sign to decline qualified immunity. Uh, control our property as we properly found sites. Patrol our neighborhoods like the Jews in Crown Heights. I'm surprised that didn't get beeped out, honestly. Or the Chinese in every metropolitan. Every sketch you profiled them in is a part of a larger net they got they caught us in. So I just like how he's, he, the flow is, you know, is superb. Um, and I like what he says right here, too. I call a trend how I see a trend. Like right now, I've been mentioning this, mentioning this on my It's Always personal podcast. It's a million things for you to be a part of and stances to take and, you know, 
take up for Ahmad Arbery, take up for Breonna Taylor, um, Rashard Brooks. Being it's all these things that you're supposed to to have an opinion on and be railing against and so on and so forth. And if you focused on all of this stuff for the last month and a half or two months. Like, what would you really be doing for yourself? What 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 part of your own life would you be fo focusing on? So, I, this this need to be in on everything. I'm I'm just and I, and I and I had a I had an episode about individuality, and as as a black man, as a black person, I feel like you boxed in and and having to be on all of this stuff right now, and I'm just not with it. So then he comes and says, um. I'm trying to get to the meat here. I'm peeking at this legislation that led this nation to its own demise. So I surmise you better expect frustration. I'm speaking off the cuff, but I don't leave no creases. They still got us in cuffs after we leave a precinct. That's if you make it there. But they don't make it fair. You can't compare disparity sparingly who's prepared. Newsflash, CNN is just as bad as Fox. He's speaking a lot of facts, man. I don't, I don't disagree with much of this. They coax in black emotion to coincide with the notion they'll swing in their direction instead of true self-reflection, projecting it by its view to use you for the election. We are not ex-slaves, not the falseness off. We are survivors of the transatlantic holocaust. That's interestingly put because... We associate the whole Holocaust with the murder, the mass murder of Jews by Hitler and whatnot. But that's not only Holocaust is like a standalone word. It's uh, it's killing on a mass scale. I think is what it is uh, a destruction or slaughter on a mass scale, especially caused by fire or nuclear war. So um, you know, it just you made a big deal about. And, and, and rightfully so, but but we we look at this on that level, and and and, and it's harsh realities and how brutal it was. And he's saying, you know, also recognize this transatlantic slave trade situation, recognize it for what it was. African genocide that lives inside this continent. Until America can admit to that, this is the consequence. So when did racism make its cause? The term white didn't exist until mystic, mystic genation laws. That's interesting, too. I really didn't know much about mystic. Again, it's dope when a rapper can go out here and give you something to think about. Later on, you get down and you're waiting to get a haircut, which I need right now. Uh, but you have time to Google some things. Google is right there at the, at, the, at your fingertips. And um, I looked into this miscegenation laws. Had never really heard. And that's the thing. Some not all of this stuff that's coming up right now with be woke. I'm seeing all these different lengthy discussions on Instagram, and I realize, you know, again, man, you can get trapped in all of these things from the past and knowing this and knowing that and and the reality, the truth about this and blah blah blah. Um. I, I, I exchanged a couple of text messages the other day with a partner. Like, I consider myself, I was I was huge, and I almost wanted to uh, get a major in history until I realized I don't know what the real money was in that unless you were an author of some kind of teaching at a big-time university and, again, publishing. But, um, but a lot of the history that I did, I was fond of and well versed in and shit all this shit all over the place and in, in, in his validity and whatnot. But this miscegenation laws uh came into play to enforce racial racial segregation at the level of marriage and in intimate relationships by criminal criminalizing interracial marriage and sometimes also sex between members of different races. And he goes on to say, Locksmith, uh, Europeans were Europeans and Africans were tribal. They used two weapons, a leather whip and a Bible. It's more vital than ever, than ever for those lesser 
So stop with the gimmicks that mimic an oppressor. And that's what I really, I, lo I love that line right there, man, because I see a lot of, I see a lot of uh, brothers primarily out here saying do this and do this and we need to do this and blah, blah, and, and, and so on and so forth. And then a lot, when I listen to it, this is the same stuff that I've heard some racists say and how they've said it or how they've conducted themselves or the games that they've played or the, the fast ones that they've pulled the way that they've gotten over. This brother is saying the same thing from a different angle. And I'm like, I, I really, uh, that's, that's the same thing that he is. So I'm just saying, man, you right now, uh, You got to be able to think, be literate of, of information and um, who you're listening to, messages. It's, it's, it's quite a bit to consider all around. And like I said, he says a lot of stuff here. I don't know if I agree necessarily with all of it. Um, right now, if you look at that, that uh, the statement, you know, they use two weapons, a leather whip and a Bible. Um where are you with with what you believe in and and the origins of the Bible? You know that that's a lot to to process. I'm not even going down that road to tell nobody what's what. Um, so he says quite a bit here. Um, I think the record is dope. Obviously, when you take a beat like where I'm from, that's a good start. And then most of what he did with it, I thought was dope, man. I thought I I, I, I like the joint. So uh, shout out to um, Locksmith. I don't know if this is part of a forthcoming project or he just wanted to get a video out here. I saw Blue and Exile had a new joint out that was along these lines. It had a lot of truth in it. It's a very deep song. I, I only listened to like the first verse. I got to check that one out. And it was someone else that, that weighed in lately. Um... It's a lot of stuff being said right now. Like it's real popular at the moment to come out and address a lot of this and and address a lot of current events and what's happening right now. And you really gonna get to tell a lot about the people that you listen to based on the substance. You know how substantive their song is or how the logic stands up. You know, somebody like uh, Lil Baby came out with his with his uh, the bigger picture and show me, you know, a side I, I wasn't expecting it and didn't try to do too much. He taught he rapped about things from his perspective and stayed kind of in his lane and but sounded dope as hell doing it. This black Holocaust joint is nice. Um, damn, what's that other record I just saw? Uh I, I did a review on the Conway song Front Lines. He had his spin on things. And um this is what I, you know, that was one of the original purposes or be beautiful aspects of hip hop was that you would, you know, that somebody would, back when brothers were trying to f prove they had intellect, that they had something to say, that they had a voice. That they were reporting, you know, from the ghettos and uh, in, in urban areas, impoverished areas, and everything. It was a real purpose to this, to this, uh, com this form of communication, this medium. And it's good that right now, like I said, so many people are coming back and saying things and saying something of substance. And oh, uh, Joey Badass had th this light pack or whatever. He has some stuff. Uh, stepping it up a little bit more with the substance. Um, so you're getting a chance right now to really know, like, I don't F with you. I, I don't F with that. It might be some people that jump out here with some stuff and you 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 move away from them. So um, I think that's dope. Again, my name is Wood. Just pay me no mind. Sports and entertainment. Um, basically an attention to detail type look at this, this Black Holocaust song by Locksmith. And uh, remember, man, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great.